everybody. Uh, welcome to the latest edition of Getting to Know Your Source Audio Pedals. So I have to say that we are very psyched about all the excellent presets that have been created and uh, published in the recent weeks and months. Uh, to date, we've got nearly 3,000 presets available to anyone in the neuro community. Um, and that's a lot. So huge thanks for that. Today, I want to talk about what I think is one of the coolest features in our published presets library. That is the ability to embed YouTube or SoundCloud clips right in the preset listing. This is a great way to show uh, your preset in action. Uh, it's also nice that the rest of us can hear your preset anytime without having to plug directly into our own pedals. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I've already loaded a WAV file to our SoundCloud account, and I'll use that as an example to show you how to embed it in the preset listing. Later in the video, I'll also uh, show you how to do this if you're working in the Neuro mobile app. Okay, so I've got this Collider Delay Plus Reverb preset here that I'm going to call Run Like Gilmore. Um, we've had a lot of requests for a Collider preset based on Pink Floyd's Run Like Hell. And we use the Collider's dual delay possibilities to replicate that galloping effect that uh, Gilmore got from his Binson Echo Rec delay unit. So in the center here is the sound editor. This is where I've done all my sound editing work. So after you've tweaked your preset and you're happy with uh, where it's at, it's time to save it to your personal preset library. And if you choose, publish it for public consumption. When you're ready, just go up here and hit the Save to Cloud button. And this little box is going to pop up on the screen. The first thing you want to do is name the preset. So like I said, my preset is called Run Like Gilmore. Next, I'll add a description down here. Uh, okay, there it is. And finally, uh, and this is the crucial part, I'm going to embed a sound clip. Towards the bottom here is this field labeled YouTube slash SoundCloud link. So if you've posted your clip on YouTube, you just need to go to the YouTube video and simply copy the URL address from the top. Come back here and boom, drop it in there and it's done. Now, if you've created a SoundCloud link, it's a little more complicated. So we're going to go over to the clip on SoundCloud. I need to hit this share icon down at the bottom here, which takes me to the second page. Now by default, it gives you the share code, but I want to go to the embed tab right here. Click on it and, uh, and copy the code from down here. Now I go back to the neuro editor and paste it in the box. Okay, so we've done everything we need to do. Now I've got two options down here. I can simply hit save, which will save the preset to my personal library, which if I were to click the cloud icon up here, it will live in the library tab. But what I wanna do is publish it so that the entire neuro community can access it. So I hit the save and publish button. I just do that and the preset is published. You'll see if I go over to the Neuro Presets feed on our website, there it is right at the top. Okay, uh, now let's quickly pull out our mobile device so I can show you how to publish a preset if you're using your phone. So I am in the sound editor and let's say I've just finished my preset. The first thing I do is go down to the bottom and hit save and the Save New Preset box, box comes up. I need to write in my preset name and description and hit Save. So now if I go to my Browse menu and I go to the Library tab, there it is on the top. So I just grab that preset and slide it to the left, which reveals the blue Publish option. I hit that and it brings up the Publish Preset window. You can see it's already got my name and description, and it's also got fields for either YouTube or SoundCloud links. Uh, so for YouTube, I just want to use the same URL link that I used with the desktop editor. If I'm using my SoundCloud link, I just go to my SoundCloud app, 
go to the library, find my clip, hit the three little dots on the right side, and select Share. I'll go down here, I'll select Copy, and then go back to the Neuro app and paste that link into the SoundCloud field. Select Publish and it's done. So finally, there is one other option in the mobile app. I can also link my Neuro app to my YouTube account. Then I can simply hit this record sound option and start playing. Uh, when I'm done, I just hit the red dot again and I can listen back. If I like it, I hit publish. If I don't like it, I hit the trash can, delete it and try again. And finally, if you're ever on our website and you're you know on the uh, preset feed, looking through presets, if you open up this search tool, we've added this little box down here uh, that says show only presets with previews. If you click that and you scroll down, you'll see all the presets have uh, YouTube or SoundCloud links. So that is it. Uh, we can't, of course, wait to hear your presets. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh.